The Ukrainian 58th Motorized Brigade repelled another mechanized attack by the Russians towards Urojane. Several pieces of heavy equipment were taken out. Trophy T-72B3 in the Kharkiv region. Have you ever wondered what happened to the legendary Chuck Norris? I recently saw a video he made and I was shocked. He's in his 80s and still kicking butt and working out and staying active. What's even more shocking is he's stronger, can work out longer, and even has plenty of energy left over for his grandkids. He did this by just making one change. He says he still feels like he's in his 50s. His wife even started doing this one thing too and she's never felt better. She says she feels 10 years younger. Her body looks leaner and she has energy all day. Chuck made a special video that explains everything. Make sure you watch it by going to chuckdefense.com slash warthog or by clicking in the link below this video. It will change the way you think about your health. Once again, that's chuckdefense.com slash warthog, and click on the link in the description below to watch the video now. You won't believe how simple it is. The Russians are removing the turrets from their tanks and replacing them with turtle tanks. In this way, they free up space for infantry transport, turning the tank into an improvised armored personnel carrier. Two points are extremely interesting here. Firstly, massive screens will be useful for protecting the tank itself, the kamikaze drone will prematurely detonate on the screen, after which the main armor will be able to contain the blow more easily. At the same time, if the Russians placed infantry between the armor and the screen, the cumulative flow of the drone's warhead and fragments of the damaged screen could still cause significant injuries to the transported soldiers. Also, the massive use of tanks shows that there is a significant shortage of armored fighting vehicles for infantry transport. The Russians will run out of armored vehicles for their infantry much faster than they will run out of tanks. By transporting infantry on tanks, the occupiers will partially compensate for this, but at the same time it will significantly increase the rate of tank loss. В этой машине трудно узнать танк Т-72. Орудие ремонту не подлежало. Ходовая в порядке. Башню срезали, наварили стальные листы. Теперь боевая машина может использоваться для перевозки пехоты. Вот теперь уже знаменитый царь Мангал. Вот танк обшит такой мощной, надежной защитой. Здесь вот еще один. Совершенствуются наши техники для того, чтобы противостоять врагу. И вот такие ухищрения препятствуют и попаданию осколков, ну и вообще остаются незаметными для беспилотников наши танки в том числе. Ukrainian crews working with US supplied Abrams tanks told CNN about a number of weaknesses and shortcomings of the armored vehicles. The tanks operators say it doesn't have the kind of protection that meets modern challenges. Its armor is insufficient at the moment, and when this tank appears, the Russians always try to crash it. As soldiers of the 47th Mechanized Infantry Brigade, which received all 31 Abrams noticed, not all tanks are deployed near the front line. This Ukrainian crew learned the limitations of the Abrams firsthand during the fierce battles for Avdika. The driver lost a leg as a result of armor penetration, we read in the report. Ammunition is also a limitation. It is not intended for the type of battle in which it will be used. We have the ability to conduct direct battles between tanks, but this happens very rarely. We work much more often as artillerymen when we have to demolish a forest plantation or a building, notes the Ukrainian tank driver. Насправді, на сьогоднішній момент це війна бронь. Тепер, коли виїжджає танк, його завжди намагаються вразити. Ціль номер один. Ціль номер один. На полі бою, виходить, без захисту 
Drone pilots from the 92nd Assault Brigade continue their hunt. This time, they destroyed a tank, an artillery system, and other weapons of the Russian army. Last night, Russia attacked its usual faithful Kharkiv from the Belgorod region with S-300, S-400 and hit ordinary residential buildings, killing at least three civilians and injuring at least 25 people, including two children. On the Russian side, it is claimed in the usual foolish way that there would have been an ammunition depot that was hit. Wonder if they even believe their cynical nonsense. Reporter. North Korea sent balloons into the South that included human waste. Does U.S. have any plans to reciprocate and send American poop across the 38th parallel? Pentagon Press Secretary. Thanks, Jeff. We do not. Um, uh, Jeff Shogel, task and purpose. Thanks. I, I have kind of an unconventional question. As my colleague mentioned, North Korea sent balloons across the South into the South that included human waste. Does the U.S. have any plans to reciprocate and send American poop across the 38th parallel? Thanks, Jeff. Uh, we do not. Uh, next question, Carla Babb. Just a reminder. The legendary Chuck Norris is a whopping 81 years old and yet has more energy than me. He discovered he could create dramatic changes to his health simply focusing on three things that sabotage our body as we age. Watch his method by clicking the link in the description box below chuckdefense.com slash warthog. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members-only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.